Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film, and today I'm coming to you with a new quick tip from DaVinci Resolve 19.1, and this is the brand new auto ducking, uh, or at least the, the, the brand new way to do auto ducking in DaVinci Resolve 19.1. So if you're not on that version, go get that version. I believe this is a free and studio version, so this isn't, I don't think, locked to the studio version. And you can do this from the editor tab, although I'm going to do this from the Fairlight tab. So no matter what, it's going to be the exact same. So let's say you have some music and some dialogue here. So this is actually from my Freeform app video, so I'm just going to play this really quick. There's some huge perks to Freeform. It's free, it syncs across all my Apple devices. And, and you can see that the music is way too loud and you can't hear my voice. So this is a pretty common problem, obviously, with YouTube or with a lot of videos pretty much. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually go to wherever the track is that the music is on. And one thing to keep in mind is that you want to separate your dialogue and music track so that that way you can make sure that you can adjust these properly. And you can also use multiple tracks, but we'll get into that in a second. So once you've clicked on the track, either here or in the editor, on your right hand side, you're going to see the inspector pop up. And this is where you can do some track wide stuff. So again, things like voice isolation, uh, dialogue leveler, all through the track, not the clip. And down here, you're gonna see Ducker. We're gonna click on that. And what you're gonna see here first is it's going to ask for the source. So this is where the Ducker is going to be looking. So in this case, I have it set to audio one, but I also want this set to audio two because there's going to be circumstances and, and not in this case, but where you might have multiple tracks. So I'm gonna get rid of that. But again, if you had multiple dialogue tracks, you would want to set it to you know one, two, three, as many as you want. Now, the next thing you're going to see here is the ducking level. So this is how many dBs it is going to dip down. Um, I find that usually you want to do quite a bit, but there's something I want to talk about here that I think a lot of people have not mentioned, and that is the idea of you don't want your, your music or whatever it may be to be absolutely just plummeting and have these crazy peaks. So something they maybe think about is setting this to like 8 dBs, and then lowering the overall level of the track itself. So maybe we'll put the track at negative 12. And then what this is going to do is this way it's a little bit more of a gradual. So think about negative eight from really loud, uh, or I guess, you know, I guess we'll put it a different way. If you were to put this at, you know, negative or, or it'd be 18, right? So it dips down 18 decibels. That's going to be incredibly distracting. Uh, so let's do eight actually. Um, so eight decibels is where we're going to duck and then we're going to lower our music. And again, we'll, we'll check this. Maybe we want to do this a little bit different later, but down in the advanced tab, there are some other things you want to look at. So this is look ahead. This is how far in advance this thing is going to look. Um, I wish this said what it was. I believe it's milliseconds uh, and you can double check that. Actually, if you click the little settings, uh, you can see here, the look ahead is milliseconds. These are all milliseconds. So this is technically just a plugin, by the way. Uh, so look ahead, we want to maybe have it look ahead about 200 milliseconds. Uh, this is all to taste, of course. This is not, uh, I'm not telling you what to do. Uh, the rise time, I definitely would put this fairly high. Uh, I prefer this to be, uh, you know, a little bit longer. I don't like that really crazy dip. Uh, so this is going to be how quickly this is going to rise up from the duct level. This is the same with hold. So this is how long it's going to hold it before it dips down. You might want to put this at maybe 300. So it's it's a little bit long, but it's not super long. You're not going to wait. And then recovery, this is how long it's going to recover uh, from the dip. So same thing, uh, I think, that, you know, probably somewhere a little bit longer than the 500. And let's give this a listen now. It's perfect for organizing everything from a big idea to the small, minute details. Imagine an infinite can. Okay, so that's much better. So you might actually want to even go this a little bit more. So maybe we'll put that to, whoops, let's do 12. And then maybe we'll just bring this down to negative eight. So this way it's going to get a little bit louder, but it'll duck a little bit more. It syncs across all my Apple devices and it's perfect for organizing. And you'll hear right here when this audio stops how this might go. So let's get rid of this fade. The first is the story circle method, finding the balance in your story. One of the so you hear it dip down there for a second and then come back up. And I think that feels pretty natural. It, it has a nice ride up and down. It doesn't feel like it's plummeting, but it also feels balanced. The first is the story circle method, finding the balance in your story. One of the I like that. 
Yeah, and that's the ducking feature. And what's great is that you can do this to multiple tracks. I wish that you could duck multiple tracks. I guess you could do it from a bus. So if you wanted to do multiple music tracks, um, you could mix them down to a bus and maybe try that. I'm not sure it's possible. Um, I, I wish that was a feature that you could do uh, where you could just, or at least you know maybe copy these settings quickly. You'll have to manually type them. It's not the end of the world, but yeah, that is auto ducking. It's really great. It's a lot easier, I feel like, with this now. And I think it's a lot simpler to understand. I'm clicking on my track and I'm doing the ducking. So, you know, we could do the same thing here on audio two. I could put all the same parameters and then all of my music is going to duck. And it's that simple. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.